Imagine a future where clean, safe, and virtually limitless energy powers every city, sustaining entire nations for tens of thousands of years without leaving a trace of pollution. A world where nuclear reactors no longer evoke fears of catastrophe and radioactive waste is a fleeting shadow. This is not a utopian dream. It is the bold vision China is turning into reality with thorium, a modest metal with the potential to transform the world. China has shocked the international community by announcing the successful construction and operation of a thorium-powered molten salt reactor, MSR building, on declassified U.S. research from the 1960s. From plans to establish a network of small commercial reactors to thorium-powered ships poised to dominate the seas and heavy industrial plants running on clean energy, China is orchestrating an energy revolution with speed, ingenuity, and ambition unmatched in global history. China's thorium revolution is a symphony of ambition, vision, and perseverance, transforming a forgotten idea into a beacon illuminating the future of global energy. Welcome to Top 10 Discoveries Official, where we explore how China is not only leading the thorium race, but rewriting the rules of nuclear energy. Thorium, a silvery metal, is more than just an element. It is the key to unlocking a new era of energy. Abundant three to four times more than uranium in the Earth's crust, Thorium-232 offers a bold promise. Safer, cleaner, and more sustainable nuclear energy than ever before. Unlike uranium, thorium does not undergo fission on its own, but is converted into uranium-233 within a reactor, producing energy with a near-zero risk of meltdown. A mere 2,200 pounds of thorium can power 1 million households for a year, equivalent to several tons of uranium or millions of tons of coal, Yet its radioactive waste persists for only 300 to 500 years, compared to tens of thousands of years for uranium. Additionally, thorium reactors produce minimal plutonium, making them less viable for nuclear weapons, a feature that has caught the attention of global strategists. China possesses a vast thorium treasure, with the Bayanobo mine in Inner Mongolia holding approximately 2.425 million pounds, sufficient to supply energy for 60,000 years at current consumption rates. Remarkably, this thorium is found in iron ore mining waste, allowing refinement at a low cost of $27 per pound compared to $91 per pound for direct extraction. In contrast, the United States holds only about 1.44 million pounds of thorium, enough for a few thousand years with similar technology. This abundance enables China to achieve energy independence, eliminating reliance on imported uranium, which costs $1.2 billion annually and is vulnerable to disruptions from tensions with suppliers like Canada and Australia. Compared to India, which boasts the world's largest thorium reserves at 2.866 million pounds, China excels in extraction and application speed, transforming Bayanobo into a strategic gold mine poised to shape not only its own energy future, but that of the world. China's thorium revolution did not emerge from nowhere. In the 1960s, the U.S. Oak Ridge National Laboratory laid the groundwork with the molten salt reactor experiment, successfully operating a test reactor from 1965 to 1969 at a cost equivalent to $1 billion today. This project demonstrated that MSRs could operate safely, efficiently, and reliably, but the U.S. abandoned it to focus on uranium, which was better suited for nuclear weapons production. Declassified Oak Ridge research became a guiding light for the Shanghai Institute of Applied Physics, SINAP. China not only replicated these early experiments, but overcame technical barriers the U.S. had sidestepped, such as material corrosion at high temperatures and complex liquid fuel processing. In 2011, China launched its thorium program with a $350 million budget and a team of 700 scientists turning dreams into reality. By October 2023, the TMSR LF1 reactor in Wuwei, Gansu Province, achieved criticality, sustaining a continuous fission reaction. In June 2024, the reactor reached a 2-megawatt output, enough to power a small town of 5,000 households. 
The true milestone that turned global heads came in October 2024, when China successfully refueled the thorium reactor without shutting it down. A technical feat akin to swapping an airplane engine mid-flight. While the U.S. remains stalled with dusty blueprints, China has brought the concept to life, with TMSR LF-1 operating stably for 12 consecutive months at a 92% energy efficiency, surpassing the 85% of traditional uranium reactors. Compared to India, where thorium test reactors face delays until 2032, or Norway and Canada with sub-1 megawatt pilot projects, China has surged ahead spectacularly, laying the foundation for even grander ambitions in the coming decade. At the heart of China's thorium revolution lies the Molten Salt Reactor, MSR, technology, a masterpiece of engineering that elevates nuclear energy to new heights. Unlike traditional uranium reactors, which use solid fuel rods and water as a coolant, MSRs dissolve thorium and fluoride salts of Lib, creating a liquid mixture that serves as both fuel and coolant. This system operates at extremely high temperatures, 1,292 to 1,472 degrees Fahrenheit, but low pressure, virtually eliminating the risk of explosions or leaks. In case of overheating, the molten salt automatically drains into a safety tank via a frozen salt plug that melts passively, an ingenious design ensuring near-absolute safety. The TMSR LF-1 has a meltdown probability one-tenth that of uranium reactors with electricity production costs at just 5 cents per kilowatt hour compared to 6 cents per kilowatt hour for conventional pressurized water reactors. The technical challenges of MSRs are formidable, yet China has overcome them with remarkable tenacity. Molten salts at high temperatures can corrode even the toughest materials, requiring specialized nickel molybdenum alloys and graphite linings. Synapse successfully tested these materials, extending the reactor's lifespan to 30 years, a breakthrough the U.S. has yet to achieve in its ANEEL project. Processing liquid fuel is another complex task. Fission byproducts must be continuously removed through an online chemical system, accounting for 15% of operating costs. However, TMSR LF-1 achieves 92% energy efficiency, recycling 95% of its molten salt, reducing fuel costs to $9 per megawatt hour compared to $18 per megawatt hour for uranium reactors. Compared to India's less flexible heavy water reactors or small-scale projects in Norway and Canada, China's MSR technology is not only safer, but more economical, paving the way for future scalability. This technology is not merely a technical breakthrough. It is a symbol of the superiority China is bringing to the global energy stage. The success of TMSR LF-1 is not the endpoint but the spark igniting a bold roadmap to elevate China from the Gobi Desert to global energy leadership. The Chinese government has outlined a detailed plan with clear milestones through 2050, aiming to make thorium the cornerstone of a carbon neutral economy and cement its status as an energy superpower. The first phase involves constructing a 10 megawatt electric, 60 megawatt thermal reactor in Wu Wei, set to reach criticality by 2030. With a $1.5 billion budget, this reactor will power 10,000 households and produce 2.4 million pounds of green hydrogen annually through electrolysis, directly contributing to China's 2060 carbon neutrality goal. The project includes a molten salt recycling plant with a 1.2 million pound annual capacity and an on-site research center with 200 engineers focused on optimizing technology and reducing electricity costs to four cents per kilowatt hour, competitive with solar and wind. While the U.S. lacks similar thorium reactor plans, China is laying the groundwork for a clean energy network in remote regions. By 2035, China aims to deploy small modular reactors, SMRs, with a 100 megawatt electric, 400 megawatt thermal capacity, costing $500 million each, 30% less than traditional uranium reactors. These will be rolled out in central and western China, powering 100,000 households per reactor 
and cutting 48.5 billion pounds of CO2 annually. The ambitious plan is to build 50 SMRs by 2040, generating 5,000 megawatts, enough to power a major city like Shanghai. Designed for export to Belt and Road Initiative countries like Pakistan, Kenya, and Indonesia at $1 billion per reactor, these could generate $50 billion in revenue and bolster China's geopolitical influence. Meanwhile, the U.S. struggles with pilot projects like ANEEL, with no commercial reactors planned, leaving China at least a decade ahead in the thorium commercialization race. Another groundbreaking application is in maritime transport, where China is reshaping global shipping. In March 2025, the China State Shipbuilding Corporation announced plans for thorium-powered container ships, with a prototype launching in 2032. These ships, equipped with 20-megawatt thorium reactors, will power electric engines reaching speeds of 29 miles per hour with zero CO2 emissions. Operating costs of just 0.02 USD per mile compared to 0.07 USD per mile for oil-powered ships could save China's shipping industry 10 billion USD annually in fuel costs while cutting 121 billion pounds of CO2. The plan is to build 100 thorium-powered ships by 2018-2040, capturing 10% of the global container fleet, while the U.S., a former leader in shipbuilding, has no comparable projects. These vessels are not only engineering marvels, but economic levers, positioning China to dominate maritime trade, which accounts for 80% of global commerce. China is also extending thorium to heavy industry, where clean energy demand is urgent. A pilot project in Tianjin, launched in May 2025, uses a 5-megawatt thorium reactor to supply heat to a steel plant, reducing CO2 emissions by 70% compared to coal furnaces. At an operating cost of 0.03 US dollars per kilowatt hour, the project saves the plant $500,000 annually and sets a scalable model. China plans to deploy this technology across 100 steel and cement plants by 2040, saving $2 billion in energy costs yearly and cutting 330 billion pounds of CO2. To support these initiatives, the National Thorium Center in Shanghai, with a $2 billion budget, will train 1,000 engineers annually and develop auxiliary technologies like molten salt recycling, next-generation corrosion-resistant materials, and advanced automated safety systems. China also plans limited data-sharing collaborations with Russia and India while retaining intellectual property control, ensuring its leadership. These steps are not just technical ambitions, but a declaration that China is setting global standards for next-generation nuclear energy, much as it did with 5G and artificial intelligence. China's thorium revolution is not merely a technical saga, but a shrewd geopolitical strategy, positioning Beijing as the leader in the clean energy era. With vast thorium reserves and cutting-edge technology, China is poised to become the world's top supplier of clean energy, challenging U.S. dominance in the nuclear sector. Exporting thorium reactors through the Belt and Road Initiative will yield economic and political influence in regions like Africa, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East, where energy demand grows 5% annually. While the U.S. relies 90% on imported uranium, costing $2 billion yearly and vulnerable to geopolitical volatility, China has achieved complete thorium self-sufficiency, bolstering energy security and economic competitiveness. Environmentally, thorium offers transformative benefits, promising a greener planet. If China replaces 50% of its coal plants with thorium reactors by 2050, it could cut 3.64 trillion pounds of CO2 annually, equivalent to the U.S.'s total 2023 emissions. Thorium reactor waste lasts 300 to 500 years, compared to 10,000 years for uranium and extracting thorium from iron ore. Waste reduces land displacement by 80%, making it far more sustainable than fossil fuels. However, challenges remain. Thorium reactor construction costs are high, $500 million for TMSR LF1. And managing molten salt waste requires complex technology, costing an estimated $10 million annually for a 100 megawatt reactor. China also faces criticism for limited transparency, 
sharing minimal technical data with the global community. Yet with 700 scientists and billions in investment, China is well positioned to overcome these hurdles, while the US and the West lag with small-scale pilots. This race is not just about energy, it's about who will shape the planet's future. China's thorium revolution is a testament to ambition, vision, and the ability to turn ideas into reality. From the Gobi Desert to global aspirations, China is not only leading the energy race, but shaping humanity's future. With vast thorium reserves, advanced technology, and a sharp strategy, it is building a clean energy empire, challenging U.S. dominance. For the United States, a nation long proud of its innovation and leadership in technological revolutions, this is a wake-up call. The U.S. pioneered thorium at Oak Ridge but let the opportunity slip, while China now leads with stable test reactors and commercialization within reach. Thorium is more than an element. It is the symbol of the 21st century technology race, where the winner will define the world. We want to hear your thoughts. Is China's thorium revolution the dawn of a multipolar energy era, or a challenge sparking an unprecedented technological race? What strategies should the U.S. pursue to join the energy competition with China? Share your views in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on the latest analyses of technology, national strategies, and innovations shaping the future. Top 10 Discoveries. Official will return with untold stories, projects pushing boundaries, and silent revolutions with global impact. See you in the next video.